Hi, this is George here from the would-be commercial capital of the world, Mumbai. Welcome to my channel, Cryogenics Global. This is a must-have HVAC tool delivered to you every week with the most unmissable information about cryogenics, refrigeration, cold chain and air conditioning. This will help you become better climate control professionals. In today's video, let's do a SWOT analysis of the pharma cold chain in India. India, the only big economy in the world right now, booming at 10% GDP growth rate. Talking about the pharma sector, there is clearly an advantage India. In the year 2022, India, India exported 24 billion worth of pharmaceutical products, emerging as one of the largest pharma exporters in the world. First, let's start off with the strengths. The temperature criticality of the pharma operations is extremely high. So if one cooling equipment fails, another need to be at standby. The dual freezers, which has become very popular now, which are refrigerated containers with two modules, to, has solved this and added to the strength of the pharma cold chain in India. Second would be the freeze super freezers, beaten API or beaten formulations or beaten R&D. The achievement of the cryo temperature or minus 70 degrees Celsius is critical for the pharma operations. The recent range of super refrigerated containers or super reefers, which achieves cryo temperature has added to the strength of the pharma cold chain in India. The transportation of the medicines had always been a challenging factor. The recent development of PCM pads, up to 1000 PCM pads can be blast freezed in a blast freezer of 10 feet. And this can be put on all six sides of a medicine pallet and can be transported up to 24 to 36 hours without any refrigeration equipment. So addition of PCM pad blast freezers has also added to the strength of the pharma cold chain in India. What are the weaknesses of pharma cold chain in India? Number one would be the low awareness of the pharma cold chain. Many key decision makers in India compared to the developed countries are still not aware of the cold chain benefits. The concept is only being built now. Second would be the low market penetration. The latest developments and equipments in the cold chain industry is still not penetrated into the pharma sector. Now let's look at the opportunities of cold chain in pharma sector. First would be the infinite shelf life. In developed countries, right from the production point until the consumption point, the medicines are kept at the required temperature always because of which wastage is zero or minimal. Wherein in India, there are many gaps in the supply chain and required temperatures are not achieved at many times due to which spoilage of vaccines or medicines happen and they become wasted. The second would be OPEX over CAPEX. The latest development in the pharma sector is to reduce the capital expenditures and move more towards OPEX. The reefer rental options available right now uh, are reducing the, uh, the capital expenditure and achieving this goal. What are the major threats of pharma cold chain in India? The number one would be the frequent power failures that we have to experience in India because of which alternate sources of power need to be arranged, which is most often in, the, in, in, in terms of a generator and diesel tank, which exponentially increases the cost of operation. The second would be the rising energy costs in India. Both the diesel prices as well as the electricity consumption charges are increasing all over India. So that concludes the SWOT analysis of pharma cold chain in India. If the video was useful for you, please hit the subscribe button. This is George signing off. Bye.